good morning. It's 5.40 in the morning. Just pit left uh, camp and I'm starting on the trail. The goal is to make at least uh, four miles immediately so I can get water because I'm severely low on water. And uh, after that, we're going to try and make it as uh, far as we could. Uh, we're at least looking for the 30 mile mark. I might go to 34 today. Uh, blisters have a little bit of fluid in them. I didn't drain them this morning. Um, I just covered them with KT tape. And we'll see how it goes. Had a pretty good night last night. Um, alternately hot and cold. There was a small breeze and it's chilly because it's rolling down the hill toward the river. So it was comfortable that way. But as usual, I do the rotisserie, which is, you know, I keep flipping over on one side to another as I get alternately hot and cold. Uh, but it was uh, more or less pleasant. Just always feel sweaty and sticky. Obviously, I know I smell. I can smell myself, so. <laughs> Got that hiker smell going. Uh, the scouts left a little after 8, 8.30. Uh, they gave me my first trail magic I've ever gotten, uh, which was a can of uh, Sprite. Um, put a picture in. So I wished uh, them well. Uh, they were running through the campsite and everything. They felt kind of bad, but I'm kind of used to it with scouts, although it would have been nice. <laughs> um, and a couple of them realized they were running through and apologized and didn't go through. They were playing a game, so, but that's okay. They had nothing to apologize for. Their kids having fun. So it was good to see them. It brought back some good memories and... Uh, it was just nice to see. So that's it. Other than that, I don't have uh, much to report this morning. So I s slept about probably seven, seven and a half hours total. And um, that mountain house chili or uh, mountainside chili, whatever it was, uh, just not for me. It has a little too much cumin for me. I'm one of those people I don't like cumin. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't great. Ooh. and see the baby deer. It's about 6.45. I've been walking for almost an hour or so, and I've gone about three miles. And I'm coming up on the next lock and the little house that goes with it. <clears throat> this is lock number 22. No water here, but there is a porta potty. like he's walking the towpath too. That's a nice shot right there of him, right in the middle of the trail. Well, I made it to just about mile 22. I don't know where there's water here. There's two porta potties, which I'm probably going to use, and I'm going to look for the water. And then I'll continue. Well, I made it to lock 23. 
And I guess this is inlet lock, so I guess they were able to bring water in from the Potomac over there. And then you can, this is where the barges would have continued down the canal. Okay, I just left the lock over there. Um, didn't find any water. Um, just looks like a little small parking lot and it's a construction site at that. So I pretty much moved on. I used the porta potty and I'm continuing on my way. Uh, still no trash cans. Most of the places here have no trash cans. So you have to basically carry your garbage out with you. They do also provide dispensers for plastic bags for you to do that, which is pretty nice. So if you need a plastic bag or you didn't bring one or whatever, you can just get one and throw your garbage in. Uh, they're not real thick or big garbage bags. They're kind of like, um, I guess, uh, the bag you would get at a grocery store for vegetables. That kind of very thin and small in size, but nice that they provide them. So I've gone back into a tunnel of green, which is nice. I've got the canal on the right and the Potomac on the left. We'll keep going. Check in later. So I came out of that nice, beautiful green tunnel. I'm at lock 24. Uh, this is the, I guess, lock tender's house. Pleasantly, there is a water fountain. And it looks like another fountain pump or something. So I'm going to check to make sure it's working. Okay, we have water. So, beautiful. So this is uh, Seneca, I believe. Seneca's Lock. And it looks like there's a uh, canoeing business. And there's a campsite here as well. Would have been good to come here and stay, I guess, last night. Maybe next time. So I'm walking along in this beautiful green tunnel of trees, keeping the cool wind and the sun off me. It's uh, pleasant, there's a little breeze, and it's coming up on 8.30. I just passed mile 24, and um, it's been a good morning so far. Uh, this section, I noticed there's not as many uh, places, like benches and places to stop. Uh, the first, you know, 16, 17 miles until I came to uh, Swain's at Lock 21. Still had a lot of benches along the path, even some long stretches. There were places to sit. Uh, obviously, it's planned out that way. Uh, I've only seen about one or two benches here. Usually, when you come to a lock with a parking lot, uh, and then there might be a bench there. So, uh, definitely less people here than in the other sections I saw. It is still a weekday morning, so I'm not really surprised that it's not overly used. But I do see a lot of people uh, bike riding. They seem to be doing long distance. I've seen them sometimes pass one way and then, you know, 20, 30 minutes later, pass back going the other way. So, um, but other than that, uh, it's been a lot less people in this section. I don't think it's quite used as much. Uh, this path is a lot uh, smoother though. I mean, I imagine this would be great to bike ride on because it doesn't have little uh, gravel or rocks. It's mostly smooth and the rocks here are very, very fine if there are any. So, and you can see the terrain just changed again. So I'm coming up on, I've been walking almost uh, eight miles very shortly, according to my uh, GPS. And I'm coming up on, uh, in about 15 minutes, it'll be about three hours that I've been walking. So not ideal, uh, you know, but I'm doing still a good pace. I'm averaging, you know, probably 2.6, 2.8. I did stop to get water. I stopped to go to the bathroom and to check out my blisters, unfortunately, which um, the one on the left is still full of fluid. Uh, the one on the right isn't bad at all, and it's not really bothering me, it's just a little sore. The left one is the sore one. So that's it, I'll check back in soon.
Well, greetings from the trail. I've been hiking for a little over four hours and about 20 minutes. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. I just passed mile marker 29. So I've gone about 12 and a half miles. And I'm hoping to go to about 34.6 and stop there. I contemplated going out to 38, but we'll see what time I get there and how I'm feeling. That's another like hour, hour and a half walk. Uh, my feet are definitely feeling it. I, I don't want to push myself and go too far too fast and get injured. So I think stopping at mile marker 34, which is what I planned, would still be a good day. And um, I'll see how I feel when I get there. Being that it's 10 o'clock, I figure I'll be there within two hours. So that would put me once again at noon, kind of like yesterday since I started so early. I get up and, you know, obviously I could walk much further. I feel like I should sometimes because there's a lot of daylight left. But I'm just worried about overdoing it too, too far, too fast since I haven't been really training and I'm not in good shape. So we'll see what happens when I get there. I may decide to push on and do the extra four miles today after taking a little break. Maybe sit down for a little while and get some water and fill up again and then hike on. So we'll see. Okay, I'm coming up on what I believe is Edwards Ferry, which is one of the numerous crossings that would take you across the Potomac to the other side. Uh, numerous of these ferries uh, existed in the old days and they were named usually after the person that ran them or the family that lived there and ran them. Uh, there is a restroom here, over there. I don't see any garbage because this is part of the whole park is pretty much garbage free. So I'm just going to continue on walking. Here's lock 25. I'm doing well. We're, uh, I think at mile 30.8 is what it is. I've been walking for about five hours now. So I've done roughly uh, 14 and a half miles, something like that somewhere in the neighborhood. I've got uh, less than four to go until I reach my goal for the day. And then I'll stop and assess if I'm gonna put on another hour and a half to do the extra four miles. But we'll see. So other than that, my feet are definitely hurting. They're talking to me uh, quite heavily. So they're looking forward to stopping. I know I certainly am, but we're still pushing out the miles and keep walking down the road check back in soon I think I'm arriving at Turtle Run which is a camp at 34 plus miles this is my target for the day it's coming up on noon in a couple of minutes I've been walking for six hours and 15 minutes and I've done about 18 and a quarter miles so I'm gonna see if I'm gonna stop here or keep going I may just take a little break and continue walking to the next campsite which is about another four miles I'll see. And that is a video of the blister on my left foot. It's on the inside heel, and I'm going to pop it now. And then I think I'm going to march the other four miles to the next campsite. Well, hello. I just left uh, Turtle Run campsite um, maybe about 10 minutes ago. Um, there's been a lot of people bike riding by, so I didn't record. I decided to push on. I'm going to do the next, uh, I think it's three and a half miles to reach uh, the quarry. I think it's Marble Quarry campsite. It's 12.30 now. I got there about 11.55. I took a break. I just had a little snack. I drank a lot of water since there's a um, since there's a pump there for the well. I filled up one of my water bottles that I'm carrying with me. The other one is empty. And I popped both my blisters and treated them. So oh, look who's here. Got a freeloader. There you go. You can see a ladybug. I don't know if it's a Mr. or Mrs. Ladybug. Yeah, I had to see ends to get that, I guess. If you have little kids. So, I'm going to push on. I'm going to do a uh, hike to the quarry. And I'll stop there. And then I'll put me, you know, three, four miles ahead for tomorrow. Of where I was going to stop today. So, and that'll put me in good stead to get, hopefully, to Harper's Ferry. If I want to push again tomorrow and do like a 20-mile day, I could probably make Harper's Ferry which might be good that would get me out of there for the weekend uh, 
If not, I'll uh, do Harper's Ferry the following day or maybe just bypass it altogether. I'd really like to go in there, obviously because of the AT and because of uh, some facilities and get some real food. But we'll see what happens. Hello, it's five o'clock. I stopped at the Marble Quarry campsite, which is located at mile 38.2. So I did about 22.2 miles today, according to my uh, GPS. I decided to stop here. I probably could have gone on to the next campsite, which is Indian Flats, which was about another, you know, 4.3 miles uh, since I got here so early, but I wanted to rest my feet. And I don't want to push myself too much too fast. So I've been taking a break. I already got my tent set up behind me, as you can see. And I'm alone here. Uh, traffic has died down a little bit now that it's getting later. I assume most people are where they want to be already. Um, I'm going to make my dinner uh, tonight. I'm going to have uh, Mountain House Italian style pepper steak. Uh, I chose this one. It's actually very light because it has the least amount of calories um, at White's Ferry, the historic White's Ferry, which was the last ferry that went across the Potomac and just closed down, unfortunately, in December. I was thinking of taking a ride on it when I was planning because, you know, it's the last one and I figured when would I be up here. But unfortunately, they closed due to a dispute over the land and that happened in December, so I'm not able to go. So um, I was fortunate enough that there's a store there that sells uh, sandwiches and sodas and subs and hot dogs and things like that, and burgers. Uh, I did get a sandwich there, so I had a kind of lunch that I didn't plan on. I'd already eaten most of my food for the day. So I figured, let me go a little lighter on dinner so as not to eat too much. Uh, tomorrow is looking like I'm going to do another big day. If I want to make it to Harper's Ferry, I had about 22 miles to, to go. So my plan is to eat, probably get in my tent and try to go to sleep early and wake up really early and start hiking and I figure I can just take it a little slower but I'll cover the distance I'll make the 22 miles if I can I'm gonna try and get a room in Harper's Ferry if not I may just bypass it and go to the next site I'd really like to stop off in Harper's Ferry due to the historic nature of it the T's headquarters is there although I know they're closed on uh, Tuesday Wednesdays and Thursdays now I think they're only open Fridays through Monday so since uh, COVID uh, restrictions eased up. So that's my tentative plan 
right now everything looks good when you make plans on paper we'll see how that does uh, so I'm gonna make my food in a little bit and probably just bed down for the night and hope to get up really early and start hiking uh, had a great day today uh, feet are hurting I drained my blisters again uh, both of them uh, I think the left one spread a little bit but uh, seems to be holding there my feet are sore obviously from the amount of walking and I think they'll make it uh, to Harper's Ferry tomorrow it's a long day but I think I you, you know the motivation of getting a room and a hot meal probably is pretty good um, I'd also like to take a shower and wash my clothes if possible uh, and I think that will be that and then I probably won't visit the battlefield it's too far away from there I will probably just begin hiking again so I'm pretty much uh, a little bit ahead of where I thought I would be but not that much to make a difference um, only four miles difference right now if I do do a 22 mile day tomorrow though that will put me one whole day ahead of where I plan to be another reason why I'm gonna probably push for Harper's Ferry is that I know um, before I left I checked the websites and the hotel that I wanted to stay at is fully booked up on Friday Saturday and Sunday so if I don't get in there tomorrow I probably won't be able to get a room at all I'm sure there's other options obviously there's a lot of hostels and stuff so I don't think I'll have a problem getting a place at all but I don't want to have to walk too far after doing 22 miles you don't want to really want to walk too far and I'm not sure exactly how far I'd have to walk from the trail to the hotel but I'm imagining it's about two to three miles also so that's not going to be fun so we'll see I may amend that plan and decide to cut short and stop somewhere in the 50 mile mark there's a site there the problem is from 50 miles there's no more campsites until after Harper's Ferry so you either commit to doing the 10 to 12 miles or you stop short which is what I plan on doing is stopping short but um, that may be an option as well we'll see I'll play it by ear see how my feet are doing tomorrow okay right. take care um, I, oh one more thing I do apologize for not being able to post videos I have no cell service, you know, 5G service, um, and I did try to upload a video, and it took an hour, and the video did not move percentage-wise after an hour of uh, keeping my phone on. So I decided to stop doing that because it's very inefficient. It's costing me a lot of battery power, and I'll just wait until I start walking, and hopefully I get better signal further on down the road. So thank you for bearing with me. Take care.